Right now, Cincinnati's live, local, primetime news. The Fox 19, 10 o'clock news. Your home for news. Good evening, I'm Dan Carroll. I'm Trisha Mackey. A badly burned baby girl given a fighting second chance at life right now. Tonight, a plane is bringing her and it just landed. The plane came from Haiti and is taking this girl to Shriners Hospital right here in Cincinnati. And acting on a recommendation, a volunteer called Shriners and they offered to help with just that single phone call. Fox 19, Stefano DP Trentonio is live at Lunkin Airport with the very latest. Is that the plane right behind you, huh, Steph? Hey, it's right there, Trisha and Dan. The plane just pulled up moments ago, as well as this Tri-Health uh, ambulance. I'm going to squat down. We're on top of our live truck here, so we can give you the very best view. They've got a gurney you can see wheeled up right to the back door, but as you've yet, we have seen no baby uh, been brought out of the plane just yet. It has been a long journey for this two-month-old girl. The group making this life-saving flight possible is Corporate Aviation Responding in Emergencies, or CARE. The baby girl was burned in a house fire in Port-au-Prince, but her condition was considered too severe for doctors at the University of Miami's MediShare Field Hospital there. So one of CARE's doctors got a special emergency clearance from Customs. They had an airplane standing by to bring her to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. She was there earlier this evening, and once there, a transfer to plane number two. And at least another three to four hours to get here. And finally, once in Cincinnati, uh, doctors are going to take her to Shriners Hospital. We believe the baby is on this flight. You know, they are well known for the miracle work they do, and this child has a big battle ahead, uh, no doubt. I'm going to just step out of your way here because there's no room on top of this truck to, without uh, bro uh, blocking the shot. Uh, we're going to stay with the shot, and as soon as we see the baby brought out, we'll come back and bring you more. Live here at Lunkin, Stefano DiPietro Antonio, Fox 19 News. You know, we can see some shadows there, so I mean, we know that the baby will be coming out in, um, in just a short while. So as Steph says, as soon as we have any more information, we'll bring it right to you. Those people over at Shriners Hospital, they are their miracle They're workers. They're absolute miracle workers, and uh, Stefano's right there on top of them. Yeah. Well, a Highland County man. He is in jail right now on a million.